rotating and turning to guide the booster. And there's that landing bird. The current AI and robotics race, my money is on the guy who lands rockets back on Earth. Today, we're diving into why Tesla could be a $10 trillion stock. But first, let me share a little secret. My adopted golden retriever, Winston, sniffed out some incredible research that you won't want to miss. And trust me, you might want to stick around for this one. Elon Musk recently tweeted this. The new Optimus design, which will be complete later this year, is something special. And he's not kidding. Imagine this, as many as a thousand Optimus robots, according to Elon's recent tweets, could be working in Tesla factories next year. But what does this actually mean for Tesla stock? Let's break it down. Goldman Sachs recently raised their price target on Tesla to $248. I know you laugh reflecting higher deliveries and increased market multiples. They also updated their profit estimates for, for the coming year. And that's good news, but it's just the beginning. Now let's talk about the bull case here for Tesla robots. These aren't just any robots. They're designed to revolutionize manufacturing. With Optimus robots, Tesla can significantly reduce labor costs, increase production efficiency, this is a game changer for EV manufacturers. Winston here, he has a nose for good investments and he's onto something else pretty big. Retail investors like us with a longer time horizon, more patience, can often pick trends better than Wall Street fund managers who have to hit quarterly profit targets. So they're going to pick something they think they're going to make money out of in the next couple of weeks, not the next couple of years. We can see the bigger picture. and. We are already up 50% in our teaching portfolio this year, over 100% the last two years, which isn't too shabby, is it? And next week, Winston and I will be hosting a three-day masterclass to show you how we do it. For three days, I will teach you for an hour each day, different stuff every single day, how to automate profit-taking and risk management so you can trade in a couple of hours a week. Just get yourself a free ticket at felixfriends.org slash masterclass. Link is the first one in the description down below. Now imagine a future where Tesla's factories are filled with tens of thousands of Optimus robots working tirelessly to produce electric vehicles and energy solutions. And this isn't just science fiction. It's actually about to happen. And this is why Tesla has the potential to become a $10 trillion stock. Goldman Sachs believes Tesla is well positioned for longer term growth, given its strong position in EV and clean energy markets. Now, they don't really know or have no imagination around what could happen outside the existing business. So let's dive into the numbers. If Tesla's Optimus can achieve widespread adoption, the potential revenue could be astronomical. Let's say each robot contributes $30,000 in annual revenue. So most workers, most factory workers contribute maybe $50,000, maybe $100,000 in productivity revenue to their factories. Say we have 1,000 robots, that's $30 million. Well, but what if a Tesla actually scales this to, well, how many cars have they sold? Just under 5 million. So say they sell 5 million robots. Now we're talking $150 billion in revenue from robots alone. And yes, Tesla would have to lease or sell these robots out to other manufacturers across different industries, obviously. So if you apply a tech industry multiple of 20x revenue, that's $3 trillion in market cap just from the robots. Now let's take it a step further. If Tesla scales to 50 million robots, that's 1.5 trillion in revenue. Apply the same multiple. And we're looking at a staggering 30 trillion in market cap from robots alone. Combine this with the EV business, the energy business, and all sorts of other stuff, then Tesla could reach a 10 trillion valuation. It's not just about cars. It's about transforming industries with AI 
and robotics. So the number might seem high, it might seem lofty. It is a bull case scenario, but I do think it is feasible because it doesn't rely solely on robots. And if you think that there won't be any new innovations from Elon and within Tesla, well, I think that's definitely false, isn't it? Do you think he's going to sit on his butt for five or 10 years and not come up with anything new and exciting? I very much doubt it. So for me, this is all about engineering. Right? The next couple of years will bring out huge new AI businesses and robotics businesses. And whoever's got the best engineering wins. So the question is, who do you put your money on? You put your money on an old company like Oracle, for example, who are going to build Tesla's AI data center. And Tesla has said, guess what? We're not going to give him the contract. Why not? Because Elon said it's about speed. Whoever is fastest wins. And I don't believe he didn't quite say it like that, but he's basically implying he doesn't think companies like Oracle, established old world businesses can catch up with them on speed. And I think that's true. Remember when NASA said you could never land a rocket back on Earth and then he did it on a ship and now he's doing it on land. Like Elon has one advantage. He isn't limited by limited thinking like most of us. He just thinks, here's an idea. Sounds a bit bonkers. Let's go for it. And it's those inventors, it's those engineers that tend to win the tech race. I thank you for watching. If you found this video valuable, you know what to do. And come and see Winston and I on the masterclass on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern time. We will teach you exactly what we do and how we do it. You walk away with the system completely free of charge, part of our mission to make a million people financially free. And let me know down below what you make of robots. Homley famously just predicted a 15,000 point S&P 500. So I dug deep into his research and I'm about to unveil to you his top five stocks.